Good evening, Dean Davidson, live weather blog. Stop calling me neurologist. It's an audio blog. It's been a little while since I've done one of these. I'm back. There's been some situations going on. And personally, this thing going on in my life when it comes to uh, a parent being sick. One of the reasons you have not seen a lot of my blogs as of late is because of that situation. But everything's done good now. My mom is definitely doing better. And I'm back doing full blogs here at liveweatherblogs.com. So you're going to see me a lot more here, writing a lot more blogs than I've been over the last month or so. And thank you for anybody that has supported uh, my weather blogs so far. And uh, I'm happy to be back doing this now um, more often than, than when I was for the last month. It's been a rough month, but everything is good, and we're back. So let's take a look at Tropical Storm Dawn. As a 40 mile an hour wind right now, it's located near the New Yucatan Peninsula at this location. And this will be moving in the general direction between Houston and Corpus Christi. And there's a tropical storm watch out in effect. This, the hurricane center is thinking that it's going to say a tropical storm. There is a chance that it could become a hurricane. You have to always look at that with the warm gulf waters that it's going to sit through. The only thing that is giving it a little bit of a problem is there's a high pressure. It's going to be located over the southeastern United States. And what that's going to do is draw an easterly wind. Opponent in another high is going to form down here in Mexico. And the weakness between the two is going to be where this goes. Because this high on the east is so strong, it'll be pushing it further to the south. And that will squeeze play this storm, which is why there'll be a little bit of an easterly wind shear component to this and may keep it from reaching hurricane status. But, that being said, it could reach hurricane status. And we'll take a look at the satellite image now of Don. We're going to look at a few different tropical plots. Don't worry, we're this is a sturdy, steady plot here. And the low pressure is located right about here. A little drier got into it. So you see not full convection around the center of circulation. Thus, it's still being 40 miles an hour, but as it gets to the northwest, it'll get in the warmer water, less sheer environment, and you'll be in good shape. You see this develop further. Seeing that better here, you got the high pressure now building over the eastern United States. Another high building here. You see the between the two highs is where this one's going to go. You see Don right here. This is going to move in the general direction. You see the clouds up here moving to the west, northwest. It's the general direction that Don's going to go. In the upper level low here, east of Bermuda. And you have some convection. That once it gets out of this shared environment here near the islands and gets further to the west, may have a better chance also of a tropical development as it moves to the west. So you got to watch that. These are a couple things you got to watch, but Don's of most importance right now. And you can see the dry air in the United States, which is where, why there's going to be a driving factor here, and why there's a very 100% chance that it's going to make this Texas landfall. We'll get deeper into the individual model, individual model or two here in a minute. But we're going to look at this, and like I said, this approaches hurricane, the 48 hour approach is hurricane status. But here, the model is really, like I said, keeps it in Texas. The GFDL is the first east model, and that pulls it east of Houston now. And the furthest west model is going to be your H Wharf model, which is the Hurricane Center model. And you get generalized GFS right down near the H Wharf model. So I would say anywhere from Houston down to Brownsville, this is the area you got to watch the minutes for the landfall going on Friday and Saturday morning. That's going to be your time period along the Texas coast where you're most threatened to have it. So if you live in the Texas area, make sure you get yourself a hurricane parent kit, you ready for this system if you're living along the coast because it is coming and it will hit the Texas coastline. This will also be good for the drought in Texas because we're going to get some rainfall from start a little bit and you also might get it with some in the western United States. Looking here at the model intensity, we have the GFDL which keeps it pretty low, keeps it a, a weaker of the tropical system. And you got the ship's model which is Navy pulling it up towards hurricane status. The H4 model does strengthen it up to about 60 miles an hour. I think we're going to get a look at 60, 70 by landfall here with this storm. That's just my early call, just because of what I'm saying in the hours out, obviously, here in the bottom, just to know what you're looking at. Looking at the model. Here, look, we're going to look at the GFS. You see, a storm will be placed in this location. You see the high pressure sitting here. The high is here. It's going to draw around. That's the path I'm going to go. This is going to draw around 
the monsoon low and the high. And where is that going to take the storm? Right up into the Texas coastline. So if you go to the motion, you can see where the system is located. This is Don. And here's a true view for at a KVOA, which is in Tucson. This is not Reno Station. I just want to show you on a map, a national map, where it is. It's compared to everything else. Scattered showers and thunderstorms on the north front and over the southeast. And MCS coming out through Michigan right now. And another riding the ridge system here. And the monsoon is in full swing here in the southwestern United States. And that's a good thing. We're just hoping that this storm will give some rain to Texas and the monsoon areas, which are deeply needed currently. One of the neatest uh, things you can you look at, and I like looking at different places, is, is hurricanetrack.com. 10 a.m. Eastern Time, they're going to have live footage coming out of the vehicle. So, hurricanetrack.com is, is one of my premier, uh, one of the places I like looking for tropical uh, feeds. And when we get into tropical systems, when we get into the nitty gritty, what I'm going to try to do, and I don't, no guarantees here, but I'm going to try to do is pull live footage and put more blogs on full live footage. I'll give you links to live footage of where they may be streaming the live uh, cameras for the hurricane. And I will also work on trying to pull some live footage and get more blogs up tomorrow to generate more viewing of what's going on during this tropical system. So stay with liveweatherblogs.com. Uh, I'm going to keep on top of this. Uh, it's on Don. And the heat's going to continue in the eastern United States. We'll get more into that tomorrow. But I wanted to get back into the grind of uh, the daily grind here at liveweatherblogs.com. And I'm back into the saddle and ready to rock and roll. So, for liveweatherblogs.com, this is Dean Davison, the urologist Dean Davison, and we will talk to you soon. Enjoy this video, liveweatherblogs.com video um, blog, and I will leave you with some comments that I put up on the blog the other day. you find on the internet these days. I'll tell you. Anyways, I'll talk to you later live at the blog.com. You're all just